Two high school basketball coaches are facing murder charges following a teenage athlete's death during an outdoor practice. 16-year-old Amani Bell died in 2019 after collapsing outside her Atlanta area high school. Her cause of death was heat stroke. Last month, a grand jury indicted her coaches on multiple felonies, including second-degree murder and cruelty to children in the second degree. Mark Strassman spoke with Amani's father, who hopes the charges lead to justice and safety for other kids. Imani Bell was a high school junior with dreams of going to Stanford and a love of basketball. Imani was a, a fantastic kid. Daddy's girl, mama's girl? Definitely daddy's girl. <laughs> Definitely daddy's girl. Because? Well, we just had a special bond. Eric Bell's 16-year-old daughter died two years ago tomorrow after she collapsed running the stairs of her high school's football stadium. Her coaches held the outdoor conditioning practice despite a heat index of 103 degrees. At the hospital, ER doctors and could not save her. Twice. The doctors worked on her for about, about 45 minutes to an hour. And body just couldn't take anymore. And he was like, keep working, keep working. He was like, we, we can't. It's, the body's not responding anymore. You actually watched your daughter die. Yes, I was in I was in the room. I was actually in the room. And uh, you know, that's just a memory that I'll never forget. It's uh, I replay it every day and you know, it's just kind of it's, it, it's tough. Bell's autopsy found no underlying medical issues. She died of hyperthermia, heat stroke. The day she collapsed, the actual temperatures reached 97 degrees. The state's athletic regulations ban outdoor workouts during any temperature above 92 degrees. And one hour before her practice, her school district sent a warning to all schools, no sports or clubs outside. Eric Bell is also a basketball coach. And you had a practice scheduled that day? Yes. And you canceled it? Canceled it. Because? It was too hot outside. At the end of the day, only one thing counts, and that's to get that child back home to their parents. Prosecutors blame Bell's former coaches, La Rosa Maria Walker Asakiri and Dwight Palmer. They face second degree murder charges. Every coach is now going to have to think about Imani Bell and the repercussions of putting winning over life. Imani Bell was climbing stadium stairs just like these in the heat when she collapsed. Clayton County's uh, school district uh, had no comment about this case because of pending litigation, and we couldn't track down the lawyers who represent the two charged coaches. But you can bet that coaches everywhere who will work out athletes in the summer heat today have heard about this case. Tony? Yeah, there are things more important than practice and winning. As you said, Mark, thank you very much.